In the last lesson, we learned that we could add a create form to our application pretty easily by adding a route to render a form for the user. From there, we could collect the form info into our controller using request parameters. Now, Spring MVC has something called data binding that makes it easier to collect all the form input and automatically bundle it into an object, in this case, a book object. Using data binding, the book is bound to the JSP through the view model. And since the book is bound to the JSP page and collects the form data behind the scenes, we won't have to manually create a new book. And we can just save the book to the database as is. So there are a few changes we'll need to make in our controller as well as in our JSP page to make this work. In the controller, we'll use the at model attribute annotation. In order for a book object to be made with all the form data, we have to pass in an empty book object to the view model. In other words, to the new.jsp file. To do this, when there is a request to render the new page, we can use the at model attribute annotation with a new parameter to create an empty object. Now, this annotation, as you might suspect, is doing something under the hood with the view model, which you've been using to pass things to the JSP. As you might remember, the way we use the view model is an example of dependency injection, which just means we're letting the container handle the view model for us. All we have to do is list it as a parameter, and Spring will create it at some point, uh, and then pass it in whenever we say. This is part of a bigger design pattern called inversion of control. Anyway, the same thing happens when we use the at model attribute annotation. In this case, we're telling Spring to go get the view model, find the attribute book, and pass that book in so we can use it. If the view model doesn't already have a book attached to it, like on this get request, it will create a new blank book instance. To look at it in more concrete terms, this code does exactly the same thing. It passes in the view model and adds a new empty book to it. This is all in preparation for rendering that blank create form. We want to have a blank book object that we can write the form data to. Once the form is submitted and the book object is filled with the form data, it's still bound to the view model. When the post request is sent, we can use that same book object and just save it to the database. Again, we create a new book object, send it with the form, fill the object with the form data, pass it back to our post method, and save it, the book to the database.